is clean, under the sun is tide clean, new tide clean. Clean and bright as the sun on the sand. The kind of clean you like best next to those you love. Gonna kill you and I'll keep That's killing you and I'll never, because you're gonna be dead and I'm gonna With kill time, you. Things always come out clean and fresh. <laughs> Hello beautiful people around the web, this is NickZHD. Today I have a gameplay for you. A friend of mine and I were playing TF2, he was playing Pyro first, but then he found the Tide Turner. And together we decided to play Tide Turner, Turning Tides, Demo Man and... Demo My? No, Demo Man. And we just were running around and decapitating people and having a lot of fun. First of all, I was quick fixing him, but um, after a while it got like kind of boring. And I decided to play Demo Man as well and got like this um, amazing kill streak. Though I don't have a kill streak active on my weapons, which I um, try to purchase in the next couple of days, maybe. I don't know when, but I, I'm definitely getting that. And yeah, I just I just felt like sharing it with you guys and giving my opinion about the Tide Turner and about recent events. Um, Basically, the Tide Turner is the one weapon that makes Demo Man effective, if you want to say that. I mean, you can turn around like almost 180 degrees instantaneously, and that makes you so mobile and so almost invulnerable to anyone because you can just hide behind corners, just wait for people to come around, or like, I don't know, just hear when people arrive because they always talk, like the characters of Team Fortress is always like, ah! charge or whatever like screaming that out loud and they just give away the positions which, uh, which is like kind of weird as a spy sometimes that you just are hidden like invisible and then you just scream around and the pyro takes notice of that and you die that is kind of unfortunate and anyways my point is that you can you can run around corners so fast and having the claim or you just you just I don't know you're like sounding like the hedgehog you're like super fast and super agile you're not maybe that small and blue hedgehog but you're still very viable and just thinking about the demo man as a competitive aspect of team fortress 2 being a demo knight it is kind of i don't know hilarious to say that because he has a grenade launcher and just preferring a sword over a grenade launcher or a sticky bomb launcher is not really logical but it's tf2 so it makes sense i think i guess perfect sense so to say and just looking at my gameplay that I had, or that I just got, basically. I don't know what happened, but people tend to ignore from time to time that you are a demo knight and just don't deal with the threat immediately. I mean, some people are very well aware that you are a demo knight, but they can't just do anything because they're like, I don't know, upstairs. This is like a scene where demo man is upstairs, just laying sticky, sticky traps for me. I was like going downstairs and just charged the whole way up and got him on the staircase and got the crit on my on my sword that, which means that I basically charged so so long that I got him and I charged up the staircase which is insane you can't think of any place to hide because it's always somewhere where the demo man can run to and it's so terrifying and the having in mind that there's someone like getting you it's like Freddy Krueger just you, get, you can't get him off he's so fast if you get like four heads with the eyelander uh, you just you just outrun anyone. I mean, you can't even catch up with, with scouts, and then you just get the, I don't know, the lock and load or the whatever grand launcher is your favorite one. I kind of prefer the grand grenade launcher, which is the default one, but the loose cannon is my favorite when I play with the Islander or like with the Demo Knight, because if you shoot someone and they to get tossed around, their aim gets thrown off most likely, and you just survive longer and if you just toss them around and just even toss them like off it I don't know cliff or whatever they die and if that happens I mean you win anyway so the great launcher deals more damage but the loose cannon is just so much more fun if you hit someone and get double donk they just get tossed around the whole map if you hit like heavies they're like the most easy target to get if you if you hit a heavy and he's like just standing around like ideally with the brass beast he just he just is 
flying after that and he cannot recover because he is like getting the double donked and he gets he, he gets double donked and he is kind of i don't know it's low on health and just charge in with a critical charge on his head and he's dead i mean that, that's it the last aspect that i want to cover is basically that you get your charge back after you killed someone while you were charging with Ty Turner and that is in my opinion not destroying the game in fact it's like advancing it a little bit because you have to get the kill first anyways and then you have to get the crit hit basically like all of the charge to get the charge back which with a lot of practice you can pull off consistently but you're still very vulnerable to like anything I mean a good scout can take you down if you're not good enough with your charge and with your grenade launcher to just get the kill you're like you're very vulnerable but you have the mobility sometimes and to make use of that is the skill that is required to play good with demo knight so it's not as game destroyer it's a game change a little bit it's like the huntsman for the sniper just alters where you play that's it for the gameplay i think that's watching see you guys next time